Live. It is our holiday extravaganza. Gail King, anchor of CBS Hi. This Morning. Hi. So nice to have Thank you there. Yeah, I'm Thank so glad you. you're here. Thank We're going to be serenaded throughout the show from the amazing PS22 chorus from Staten Island. They just sang for us. Uh, Thank you guys. It's so amazing. Now, I'm thinking, Anderson, you will know all the words. All the words? You will know all the words. To all these songs? To all of these songs. Well, my, when I was a kid, I went to a school that was predominantly Jewish, and so they would have, literally. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Right, literally, it was all dreidel, dreidel, Hanukkah dreidel, dreidel. songs. So oh. I know all the Hanukkah songs. They would throw me a Jingle Bells just to, like, keep okay. me appeased, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, we got a great show for you, a really fun show, revealing the winner of our Ugly Sweater December contest. Everybody has one. Yes, which I'm very excited about. We also have a great holiday surprise for family and me. They lost everything in a devastating fire. We're going to see what we can do to help them out. Also, the Neelys are here. Woo! Took it up one of my all-time favorite desserts. I like that. And a lot of great audience giveaways. Uh, you all picked a good show to be at because we got a lot of great audience giveaways uh, throughout the hour. So, uh, a lot of you guys don't even know what you're getting I know, in your platform. I know. Well, they see what? you and they yeah. think it's going to be like an Oprah thing. <laughs> So let me. It, there's no. Everybody car. gets a head of lettuce. How about <laughs> yes. that? Yeah. <laughs> Just want to say in advance, there's no car. No, I'm sorry. No uh, but we got a lot of great stuff. What are you doing for but the that's holidays? That's okay. That's okay. We have something that's really good. Yeah, you do. You look beautiful. Oh, thank. Yeah. Listen, they said. Thanks, guys. They said that the set was going to be decorated, it is, and it is, and they said be festive, and I'm thinking red is good. Red is very I'm good. I'm thinking red is very yeah. good. Listen, I'm so excited for the holidays. Number one, I love Christmas. Yeah. It, it, it was, it's even more fun when you have children, but even when the children get bigger, it's still a great fun holiday, yeah. so I'm still very into Christmas. So I'm finally going to go away. I'm really looking forward to that. My son and daughter are 25 oh, there, there, and 26. Kids. Oh, Long ago. Oh, wow. I How like old are they this. now? They're 25 and 26. Wow. <laughs> and I'm 57. <laughs> Going on 58. But see, even when you're big, you still like Christmas. Yeah. You still do. It, because it reminds you of people you love, spending time with the people you love, and finding the right gift for somebody. Yeah. I think it's still very I fun. hate shopping for gifts. You I am do? the worst. Well, because I work, I mean, we both work. I don't we know how do. you find time do. to we shop do. for gifts. Well, the thing is, don't get a gift card. No? I don't like gift cards. I. You really? either. No. Oh, I think everyone, although, yeah, I always just like giving cash or gift cards. It's so well, much well, easier. Well, ca cash is good. Yeah. I didn't, say, I didn't say don't give cash. People always like cash. I'm just talking about a gift card. I don't really, I don't really? know. Really? How many times have you gotten a gift card, Anderson, and used it? Never. Well, I've never, but I don't know that I've ever gotten it. I don't know that no one's ever given me a gift card. <laughs> <laughs> wah, 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 wah. wah. Single tear. <laughs> Single. No, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. I expect to put on a couple of pounds. That's okay. Yeah. You'll come back from the holidays and get on a juice cleanse or get on a diet and get back to normal. Do you actually do something like a juice cleanse? Anderson, I do all of the time. Do you really? Cooler cleanse. That can't be good juice for you. Juice cleanse. Well, I didn't say it was good for you. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, everybody. So has for to days you drink nothing but juice? Well, listen. With like cayenne pepper or something? I've done that too. I can stay on a juice cleanse for three days, and if a cupcake makes its way into my diet while I'm on the juice cleanse, it's okay. I've done that, too. I've yeah. done that, too. Okay. Well, do you send out... I'm hoping before this is over, you will laugh like a girl while I'm here. I just, uh, well, yes. just want to see it in chance. person. There's a good chance. I've seen it on TV. Yes. And I'm 
to tell you, the first time I saw it, I go, he doesn't really laugh like that. Yeah. And then I saw you do it a couple times, and you really do. <laughs> so I want to see it in person. I know. It's embarrassing. I have always laughed like a 12-year-old girl at an NSYNC concert is what it's like. I have the humor of a 12-year-old boy with the laugh of a 12-year-old girl. It's the worst possible combination. Uh, but, you're you a but you're a very hot man. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, I do. Yeah. It's the dim lighting is what it is. The dim lighting. Now, do you send out Christmas cards or holiday cards? Listen, I haven't sent out a Christmas card till I was maybe 24, 25. And at the time, it was me and my dog, my last officer, Christopher. Uh -huh. So you can always tell someone that doesn't have a significant other or a child because they send out pictures of you and you their, their dog. You with their dog, yes. yes. And I actually Although, there it is. Yes, that's the picture. <laughs> yes. Wow. That is a Christmas vest. That is a Wait, Christmas vest. Your dog looked intrigued by something. <laughs> You're talking about, see, that's where I look like a 12-year-old boy. You, and you were rocking like a whole 80s <laughs> thing going on there. I, I like that. I was 24, that. 25. I had actually brushed his hair. Did you just audition for, like, Soul Train or something? <laughs> I know, I know. It I is like bad. that. It I is know, it's a I like the look. And I sent out the Christmas card that said, Happy Holidays from Christopher and Gail. Oh. I mean, I know. But I love that, I love that dog. I love dogs. Yeah, I love that dog course, very, yeah. very much. So I haven't sent out Christmas cards since then. Right. I, my, uh, I haven't received yours. I do not send out. I oh, don't, okay. I'm not organized. I'm telling you, I am so not organized. I have Me not either. shopped. I, it, only either. until the last day or two will I desperately go around. And I go to the same place to shop and try to get all my gifts at once. You, do you get people different things or do you get everybody the same thing? Oh, no, I try to get people different things, okay. of course. No, but but I, I usually just go to one place and just hope that no, they no, have... Wait, Anderson, wait. What do you mean, of course? I know some people that say, I'm gonna give everybody the same thing, whether it's a nice candle, something that's unisex. I've seen people do that because they say that it's very easy to do, or a cashmere blanket, or a nice blanket, or a pair of socks. Mm. So it's not such to a dumb that thing that you my... put down when you went, no, of course well, I no, get everybody. To me, that means my assistant was sent out to buy, like, <laughs> candles for everybody, or... You know, some people do that. Well, I don't know. Do well, um, well, I used to, my, my mom used to send out Christmas cards uh, when we with were kids. With you on them? Yes, with, with me and my brother, brother on them. Yeah. And, um, and, and they were very sweet. But we found some really awkward family photos uh, from uh, awkwardfamilyphotos.com that uh, these are holiday cards that people ha have sent out. Let's take a look at the first one. Um, this is, I mean, <laughs> there is so much going on in this photo. I love the Christmas lights behind yes, the hot yes, tub. Yes. I love that they're all, I mean, it's just so but creepy. Anderson, look at the expression on the daughter and the son. I know. The what's what's sad like... about the daughter, the daughter doesn't quite realize how creepy it is yet. The son, I think, he is realizes. just starting to realize. Yeah. But he still put a lot of gel in his hair and made, it a, made an <laughs> yes, effort. Yes, yes, he did. You know? He did. Still made an he dressed That's right. The hands are not what? showing. Yeah. That's right. This I like. <laughs> a woman and her monkey. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. And her leg. Yes. This, I don't know what is going on here. This is like. And here's Santa. Santa with a black eye. Yeah, Santa with a black eye, which, which is, uh, I mean, there's so many weird things going on in that photo. I don't know if the kids gave Santa, Santa, Santa the black, black eye. eye. Oh. What was Santa doing? Like, like it was a rough night with yeah. the elves. Santa looks like he might have had a couple of pops in that show. Right, right, right. He had a couple of pops. Yeah, so those are some of the, uh, the, uh, the awkward cards. We, is we that it? One more. There's one oh, more? One more? Yeah. Okay. I think there's one more I wasn't told one about. One more. Oh, there's Honey Boo Boo's Christmas card. <laughs> yes, I like that. Do you watch? Anderson. I'm obsessed. You know I'm obsessed. I, 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 you're, I, I'm just going to have to excuse I like myself sugar, from that. I like that Sugar Bear has really made an effort for that card. He's really, really gone all out. He put on a different hat, and he's still wearing his fireman uh, shirt. You know what I worry about? I worry that people are laughing at them, not with them. Oh, see, I and don't... That, uh, that, uh, I, I do. I worry about I'm that. I'm laughing with them, and because they are laughing at themselves, at themselves and at everybody else, too. I think... I mean, for all these people, I would rather hang out with them than the Kardashians any day of the week. I mean... Oh, I like Kim. I like Kim. No, I, I have nothing... Kim is against, sweet. No, I have nothing against him. I, and I've actually heard... I've heard she's a really nice no, person. No, she's very, very nice. But... She's very nice. But, like, in terms of, like, real families, you know, I don't feel like... These aren't... They're not marketing themselves and tweeting out products and stuff. They're just who they are, and I kind of like that. You better recognize. Uh, yes. Have you ever tried to... More oh, for you guys. Have... We made a special card. Okay. A special yes, card. Did. Okay. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's... Who is that on the left hand side? Well, that's Terrence, yes. our executive producer. Yes. 
That is Terrence's dog. <laughs> Who's What's no, our dog? There's like an extra hand, though, down. Who, <laughs> whose hand is that? I don't quite. Uh, On either side. But I love how Terrence goes, we have one more, one more. Oh, and I just happened I to be in it. I didn't know I was in it. I didn't see yes, it. Yeah. I did not see it. You didn't it. know you were in it? No. Yeah. They didn't tell no. me. Yeah, I, I'm again amazed by Terrence's expression because it's the same in every photo because there's so much Botox that it's. Uh... Okay, Gail, we promised we were not going to fight on the Christmas show, so I will not say yes, anything it's back. It's Christmas. It's a holiday season. We're going to be happy we have good together. Cheer of everybody. Yeah. I can't tell if you're happy or sad right I'm now. Happy to be here with you on Christmas. Your face is just frozen. Didn't I just say we'd be happy on Christmas? If we were at Oprah, we'd be T happy. Terrence. 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 <laughs> Now, clearly, wait, Karen, clearly Anderson loves you to tease you that way, but I am curious, have you had Botox? Oh, sweetie, has he had Botox? <laughs> no, no, I'm being serious. When he I, opens his I, mouth, you'll I, see, I, a little drips out. I'm telling you. There's so much floating around in that you head. Know, I got him this gift. Look, he, he I'm cannot, taking the gift he, back. <laughs> look, he's coming over annoyed, but he looks like he's happy. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, but... My God. People... Yes. People do not write in and tell me that I need work. Yes. They tell me that they write in and say that Anderson needs Botox. I so do. I'm, yes, I'm sure I do. I've got a big crease. Would you ever it. do that? Would you ever have Botox? No. I'm, I mean, uh, you know, you never say never because, like, remember like, That's Jane yes. Fonda when she was 22 was like, yes, I'm against yes. plastic surgery yeah. and I would never do yeah, it. Yeah. And now, of course, yeah. she changed her mind. Um, <laughs> but no, before. look, I, I, I think there's a totally double standard for guys. I think guys can get as fat and wrinkly as that they want, true. and they can still and have a job throw in TV. And balding in there, too. Right, and they can yeah. still have a job in TV, yeah. whereas women, they're expected to, you know, look 22 for their entire careers, and I think that's totally unfair. Well, now it's up to 35. Now it's up to 35, <laughs> yeah. yes. But, yeah, so, no, I'm, I, you know, I've, I've had this... Say never. I've had this huge, thick line since I was a little kid from worrying when I was a little kid, and, you know, it's just getting deeper. And it, I've mentioned this before, but I have crossed the Rubicon because I now literally, there was, like, a week where I got a flood of emails from people suddenly saying, like, did you cut your forehead? <laughs> Have you, was, did you, were you in an accident or something? So I think it's like reached a level of deepness. That well, now, now that you pointed it out, it is quite deep. deep. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think Kathy Lee was on the show the other day and she called it cleavage. It's my forehead <laughs> cleavage. So. Anyway, it's what I got. Um, so we have been running mm -hmm. an ugly sweater, sweater. contest. Know, Should we do I've that now or we'll do that? We'll do, okay. Misfit. Okay, cool. Uh, I will say, Terrence gave me a lovely Christmas gift. You know, my favorite, I love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yes. And you know, there, there's the land of the misfit toys where all the toys that are too weird end up. And there's the Charlie in the box, which is my favorite. And he's, he always says, you know, nobody wants a Charlie yes. in the box. Yeah. So Terrence actually tracked down a vintage Charlie in the box. Wait a minute. Take a look. I bet you're sorry you said those things about me. Oh. Isn't that cool? Nice. Nice. Yeah. So every day uh, I want in, it back. <laughs> nice. You want it back. Right. <laughs> every day we have been giving out a misfit toy to yeah. our to our audience. I've and seen. so uh, today we have yet another misfit toy. So I'm gonna go to over there to our Charlie in the box and see what the misfit toy is today. All right. Let's see. One. <laughs> two. two. Three. Charlie. Have you been in there the whole time? Yes. You've yes. been in there the whole time. Oh yeah. Oh, All right. God. So today's misfit toy is onesie pajamas yeah. for Christmas morning. I love those. Yes. I love those. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. I love yes. those. I like them. I like them. Uh, yeah, Christina Milian was here, and uh, she had she was wearing a onesie. They didn't have no, the feet I in like it. Oh, I like these. Yeah. So everybody in the audience is getting uh, onesie pajamas. Yeah. Uh, they're available at jumpingjammers.com. Because yeah. this is the thing, Anderson. Yeah. I have this thing. I do not like buttons. You know, uh, I try very hard never to wear clothes that have buttons. There's just something about buttons that just freak me out. So whenever you notice, really, you'll see, I very, very seldom wear buttons. So I'm thrilled because this is a zipper, so I really want one. Okay, well, you got, you got it. I really will you, want one. Will you, we'll, we'll send two. You've got to send us a photo of you and Oprah on Christmas morning in your onesies. <laughs> All right. No, I will take it. I will take it. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to have more of the first 15 coming up. Our very Mary Anderson Live continues. We'll be right back. Be right back. <laughs>
Hi, Gail and Anderson, happy holidays. Welcome to the Lynch's Wonderland. As you can see, I'm addicted to lights. I've got about a half a million lights on the house. It takes me seven weeks to decorate. There's over 30 Santa Clauses, moving, shaking, dancing, standing still. Those four elves in this box here are the oldest display figures that I own. One thing I'm very proud of, I put all the cords underground. So people can walk around. I have over 300 figures, animatronics, I have over 200. When you come in the house, I want to have a Christmassy feeling. My biggest competition is my son. One day I'll take over and then I'll go bigger, brighter. Happy holidays. for a very merry Anderson Live holiday show. That was a lot of Christmas. Like, imagine being, imagine having to take all that stuff down. No, he says it takes him seven months, but you know what I thought was funny? When he said, I walk in the house and want it to feel like Christmas. <laughs> right. We, we didn't get the hint when we came in the driveway. Right. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> nice, though, very nice. Yeah, uh, John Adams, also from Rochester, New York, sent us another a, a photo of uh, his favorite holiday decorations. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I approve of that. I don't know. That's well, Anderson, even Santa has to pee. I suppose, I guess when you're stuck on the roof. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you decorate a lot or? I do, I do like to decorate. Yeah. Now, when the kids were little, we used to do it together, but now that they're older and they don't live with me, I now call someone and say, help, can you come over and bring a couple of things? But I love when you walk into the house and feel a Christmassy feeling. Right. I was never able to do anything like that. Yeah. But I do like it. Do you put up a tree and stuff? Yeah, but I don't get it to the last minute. I'm really, I'm bad. Gosh. I'm not, a, I know. I'm just not organized. You need, you need love in your life. I know, I need, I need, I need like an organizer. Let's I need, talk I about need. your love life. <laughs> yes, please, let's. Goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. Maybe we need to work on this. Find somebody for me too while you're at it, but go ahead. <laughs> it's not about me, go ahead. Yeah, mini series. Oh, okay. <laughs> then a Christmas <laughs> special. Mini series. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Ander Anderson has love in his life. I'm only teasing. Yes. <laughs> I got lots of love in my life. Yes, you do. Um, not from this quarter of, of the peanut gallery over here, but so. Um, uh, we have been Christmas having sweater? yes. We have been running an ugly sweater contest, and when we say we say ugly with love, yes. we embrace this. Yes. We like this, yes. and we've gotten a lot of different entries from viewers. Let's just take a look. I hear at you some. encourage this, actually. Oh, of course you we do. Absolutely. It. This is this is a recent <laughs> one from viewers. There's I don't know if they're a, a foursome. There. They're a little Hanukkah sweater, which we like. I like the Hanukkah sweater there. I like that. That's very festive. The uh, the winner of this, I like this guy who's basically just taped cards to himself. That woman, you can't, she blends in with her tree. I'm not sure what's going on there. I like her look. That's a dreidel. I see yes. a dreidel. This picture I like because look at the guy on the left. <laughs> not only has he not made an effort, he is showing a little belly. He said, you know what he said? He said, I don't need a Christmas sweater. Yes, exactly. I, exactly. I look good just the way I am. Go ahead, sir. And I think the, uh, the winner of our trip gets a, uh, a free trip to Hawaii. And we're still Hawaii. looking. Okay. Hawaii. Hawaii. Um, which you spent a lot of time in Hawaii. I've never been. You've never I, been. No, I've never yes, been. I've always wanted to go. Season, but uh, one of the photos that, that I liked early on, uh, the woman uh, who's in the photo is actually with us. Her name is Danielle. And her sweater cracks me up every. Do we have the photo? Let's take a look. Yeah. <laughs> I love this sweater. So let me just go over here. Danielle. Can, yeah, thank you. Danielle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying very hard not to stare at your carrots. I know, yes. Yeah. <laughs> up here, I'm up here. Uh, up here. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I, I'm tempted to, to touch your carrots. You but, can if you yeah. like. I mean. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I can honestly say it's the first time I've ever done that. So, yeah. <laughs> In more ways than and one. And hopefully the last yes. time. No, well, yeah. yes. So what drew you to this sweater? What I mean, look at it. Yeah. How could you not? Where like did you it? find it? I found it online last year. Okay. Because um, we were gonna do a ugly Christmas sweater party, okay. um, which we actually didn't do. Um, and I found it and I fell in love. And How do people react when you're wearing this? Um, usually they laugh. Okay. Um, I have to be careful who I show it to because right. it may, may be a bit controversial, but. Uh -huh. I, well, I think it's great, and we, we searched. I, we got a lot of amazing. I thought you made it. Could I touch it too? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious. I can say I'm 
never done that either. <laughs> I've never. But I really, I thought you had made that sweater. It's, and that you it did looks it like for a Anderson. Pen, yeah. you, can I, I, I ask I how much you spent for it? I'm just curious. I don't remember. It it wasn't it wasn't over thirty dollars. Wow. wow. Well, you know the uh, the, the winner of our of our uh, competition. Oh wait, this dropped already. Let's, hold on. And you win, Danielle. Oh, win. the. Uh, Actually, I might as well just tell you now, you have won, actually. You have won our contest. Uh, yeah, congratulations. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. That's right. Okay. Are, there, are those carrots on your breast? Are you just happy to see me? Um, so, the, not only do you get, uh, uh, this is a bikini, an ugly sweater bikini that we had made. Uh, that's for you. And also, you. with matching ugly sweater pants. Uh, and you, we are going to be sending uh, you and a guest a four-night vacation uh, to the Hilton oh Waikoloa oh. Village Hotel in Hawaii within Waikoloa Beach Park. Oh. You can hula, oh. snorkel, you know, waterfalls, and all in the ugly Thank sweater. You so much. Thank, Thank you so oh. much. Thank you. Danielle, that was thirty dollars for whatever you paid for that sweater. That's money well spent. Oh yes, oh That's yes. Money well spent. Oh yes, Go. especially since you guys felt it. I'll um, <laughs> yes. never get rid of this yeah. sweater. Yeah, you didn't know you were going to be felt up by Gail King today. Um, or Anderson Cooper. Or Anderson Cooper. Yes. yes, and believe me, there's not many women who can say that. Um, <laughs> And I can say, there are no women who can say that for me. Yeah. Yeah, I can say that All right, there you go. So now, I know you are, are going to be on the road, so yes. you don't have a tree. No, I didn't right. do it this year. So we, we looked around to, to see something we can get you, and we found this, which is a, it's a tree in a can. Oh. And we thought, that way I, you can... I don't know what to say. Yes, I know, I know. It's, it's quite amazing, yeah. Thanks. Here, I'll take it over here if you... Thank you. I also know you are a big, uh, you're a big foodie. I am. You I like food. food. I'm not yes. a big foodie. But we decided to I get. I hear you eat, you only eat orange things. Orange things? No, no, I eat the same thing every single day. Why do you do that? Because uh, same thing every day. It's like I, it's like it's the reason I wear the same clothes every day because I just don't want to have to make decisions on things that I like. It just seems like such a waste of time. You know, I never thought of you as a boring fellow, but now I might. Oh have no, to no, I, that. yes. The more time you spend with me, you'll see how boring <laughs> I am. So we brought in a okay, whole good. bunch of of sort of weird I'm holiday foods okay. that I've been seeing headlines about. First of all, uh, Little Baby's ice cream in Philadelphia has pizza flavored ice cream. Which we have, we actually have some, I think, for, for everybody, don't we? We'll pass out some okay. in the audience. So, Pizza flavored ice cream. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> well, actually, it does taste like pizza. That is not good. <laughs> I, I mean, I love ice and cream. And it does taste like pizza. And I'm sure they have great ice cream, uh, you know, in general, but... Okay, we also have... Um, Anderson, that was really not good. I know. I know. You said you wanted to try new foods. These are candy canes that taste like pickles. <laughs> May I ask, are you mad at me about something? <laughs> I was so excited to come. I've never actually tasted a pickle, so I don't know what they taste like, but I'm assuming... I, I don't see the point of a pickle. What's the point of having one? Okay. This actually is not so bad. Really? I won't eat it again, but it's... <laughs> okay. Um, so we got some of that for the what, audience. What else you got? All right, we know you like donuts. So we have potato... I do love donuts. We have... <laughs> from the Holly Donut in Portland, Maine, we have potato-flavored donuts and bacon cheddar donuts. Holy donut? Wait, which oh, holy one, donut. Which one is a These bacon cheddar? These are the cheddar? Potato, uh, potato donuts. Wait, which one is a bacon cheddar? That actually sounds... Like That's a bacon cheddar. I, I don't... It's, it just tastes like a donut to me. I don't know. <laughs> Um, this one is good. <laughs> you can never go wrong, guys, with bacon. Also, maple bacon, candied bacon, you can never go wrong. <laughs> this is good. Um, Pringles. Anderson, it's like a croissant. It's, it's, like, yeah. it's like a bacon cheese croissant. This is very good. Pringles has come out with a whole bunch of different uh, holiday flavors. This is white chocolate peppermint. It's oh. never good when you say something and the audience groans. It's, it's actually pretty good, I think. It's the kind of thing, because I like salty and sweet, so it's sort of the salt and sweet combination. Mm -hmm. You see that? I agree with you about that one. Let me just reach into our... So far, your only bum thing oh. is this. 
We also oh, have oh, ice cream. These are peppermint pigs from Saratoga Sweets in Saratoga, New York. They come with a hammer, and the tradition apparently dates back to the 18th century. You're supposed to break the pig for good luck and prosperity. I don't want to hurt the pig. No, no, no. You're, you're, it's okay. The pig likes it. Here, <laughs> there's some glasses for you. I think we only have one hammer, so I'll do mine first. Okay. Oh. oh. Do you want to do? It's very violent, actually. <laughs> Wow, and, and it really smells like peppermint. And, and why are we doing this? Yeah, for prosperity. Okay, oh, I want prosperity. Oh, okay. Yay! All right. so, so our first giveaway for everybody in the audience, we're going to reach into the Santa bag, and everybody in the audience is going to go home with Pringles uh, pumpkin pie spice and also the peppermint pig for prosperity. Everybody gets that. Up next, there's a lot more of our um, very Mary Anderson live, including a surprise gift uh, for me, for my staff, apparently. I'm getting nervous on that. We'll be right back. Be afraid. Be very afraid.